Hi everyone. In this section, I am discussing another way of updating the state. We have seen in the counter example, the one which you are seeing right now, where we are updating the state with this syntax. Here we are initializing zero, so CNT will receive zero, and the set count is the method which is used to update the state. And when it comes to calling this set count method, we have called it with this syntax. So the actual syntax is something like this where we have the set count or let's say whichever set method is. So I will name it set state and inside the bracket you have the new state. So ideally if we talk about the syntax with reference to these methods, it looks something like this. The official React site does also mention about the functional update that is inside the set count for example instead of writing new state you will have something like this. So set count takes one function you can write this as an arrow function or a normal function. The important point here is that when you write this function which is a callback function here we have the previous state value what is a callback function that you can check in one of my callback function video which is part of node.js tutorial as well as the javascript beginner to expert series as well in fact sometimes it is very much essential that you write this syntax instead of writing the one which you are seeing right now that is the set count cnt minus one or plus one whatever we write that is the new state now in which case this way is essential let me give you an example right now when we click on a button that is this counter when you add one value is added assume that you have a situation where the previous value of the state is referred and then you want to update it with a new value for example right now the counter one that is the counter is incremented and the render happens if you just have another set count method where again I say count plus one for example then in fact what it should do it should update the counter by two it should add two in the counter value but does it really happen or not let's check this I'll just refresh now when I click on this plus button as you can see in spite of having two set count that is two times I am calling the setter method it is just updating it only once the problem here is that when you are updating it with the set count and if you assign the new state inside the method that is the set count method it doesn't immediately refer the very latest value of the state so the updation of the state is actually queued and then when it re-renders it doesn't immediately update with the new counter in such situations you can use the functional update remember you can use functional updates whenever you want to but there are few situations where you will feel that the functional updates are essential you can't avoid that like in this case I wanted to have the set count call two times and in the second call I wanted to have the latest counter value to be added but that is not happening so when you have the very previous state to be referred which is the case here that on line number 19 I want to refer the updated state only in such case you have to go with the functional update how do you do that it's very simple the syntax is something like this so you have an arrow function and here in this function the previous counter in this case will be passed or the previous state is passed be it an array an object literal or a primitive value that is passed the state is passed to this function parameter let's try the same thing here to see whether it is working the way we are expecting or not so instead of writing this set count directly I will be adding one more arrow function inside it and I can write a return statement and the value but you don't need it right because we are using the arrow function which has a shorthand so I will just use even I don't need these parentheses if you let's say avoid it I'll say previous state so I'll say previous counter right I can avoid these parentheses 
it's fine if you put it but if generally nowadays you see that people do not even write when you have a single parameter now inside this i do not even need any return statement so i will have a single line arrow function so i'm not going to have these curly brackets as well what do i want is i just want that whatever the previous counter is added by one that's what it is and the same thing i'm going to use for the second line as well now we are using the functional update syntax that is that is a function that is a kind of callback function return inside the set state method and that receives the previous that is the very updated state and then we are updating the new state by referring the previous state only let's click on this button and see what happens now we have two four six and so on so ideally when it comes to referring the previous state then you better go with the functional update syntax if your update function returns the exact that is the same value as the current state then the subsequent render will be skipped completely this is something which is very amazing this is what the reacts official site says so the set state method has different ways different syntaxes one is where you are passing the new state like this or you can have a callback function passed to it that is the functional update where the update of state happens with a function passed inside the set state method If you are looking for front end full stack opportunities in the US, Anak Technologies can help you find your next big project. Also, if you are looking to turn up your existing skills in front end that is mean or mern stack, you can enroll with one of Anak Technologies training programs. Anak Tech is supporting my initiative to bring more up to date technical tutorials specially crafted for viewers like you. check out the links in the description for more details